Hello guys, I have a new video for you today. Uh, as you can tell from the name of my channel, mostly day hiking, I love to go day hiking. And the two bags that I'm using right now to do this is on the right, the VanQuest Trident 20 for short hikes, and on the left, the VanQuest Ibex 30 for longer hikes. Now by short hike I mean, you know, anything up to a couple of hours or so, under five miles usually. And for longer hikes, like 10 miles, 12 miles, I like to use the Ibex 30, bigger bag, I can put more things in there. Also, the shorter hikes, usually when I go on a short hike, I'm in an urban location. And I'm not worried about getting lost or making a fire in the woods or uh, about wild animals or anything like that. If I were to get injured, chances are someone would come along in a very short period of time to help me out. When I go on the longer hikes, a lot of times that is in a more remote location where someone might not be passing by for quite some time. So I have to be prepared for more emergencies when I go on the longer hikes in the remote locations. So I'm going to turn the camera off now and when I get back I'm going to break down first the Trident 20 to show you the different modules for the different type of gear that I'm carrying in that bag and then we'll do the same thing for the Ibex 30. So this is the Trident 20. I use this on shorter hikes. Uh, this is the first generation of the uh, Trident 20. Uh, recently VanQuest has come out with a newer edition of this bag and uh, they made some improvements to it but I bought the older edition. Uh, it's on fire sale on their website and uh, I got it for a really great price. They only have it left in camo. And this would make a great EDC bag, but for the fact that it's in camo, and in my world, that won't work. If I go into work with a camo backpack, people are going to think something happened to me. They already think there's something wrong with me. So, for hiking, great. For EDC, would be great in different colors, and who knows, maybe in time. I'll pick up a, a wolf gray one or a black one so that I can take it to work. But here you see, uh, you know, I don't really want to go into all the, uh, the, uh, the features of the bag, like what it's made of and, and all of that. I mean, it's made of the same stuff that the FanQuest stuff is made of, the Cordura nylon and YKK zippers and and all of that good stuff, you can figure that out on the website. Uh, Trident 20 means 20 liters, which is a, on the smaller side, but it's really configured very well. So you'll see there's quite a bit of gear in here. Uh, I've taken a modular approach to how I uh, handle the gear, so we'll go through each module separately but I just wanted to go over the main features of the bag with you now. You can see that uh, it has a pocket up top, a pocket here on the bottom, a slip side zip pocket here. It has two hook and loop fields, uh, a narrow one on the top, and a good size one on the bottom here with uh, Molly compatibility. The newer bag, this looks a little bit different. Um, what else can I tell you? You see I have two patches today. I have a Don't Tread On Me and a Sick Semper Tyrannus uh, patch. Uh, also, water bottle. One of the flaws, in my opinion, one of the flaws of the VanQuest bags is that they don't have water bottle holders as a rule. So you have to put something on the bag or use a hydration bladder. I personally don't use hydration bladders. I mean, I have them. I have used them on occasion. Uh, 
if you use a hydration bladder it affects how much you can put in the bag and it just doesn't work well for me so I like to use water bottles now this bag is pretty well packed out so under some circumstances you just might want to take the water bottle and put it inside the the bag and it fits and it's fine uh, I've done that too <clears throat> but I got from Condor this water bottle holder and the nice thing about Condor pouches is that most of them have straps already sewn onto them so you can just weave the straps into the molly on the side here and you don't have to buy anything extra just the just the pouch and that's what I've done here I've just taken the straps that come with the uh, pouch and just woven them through the webbing here on the side of the bag <clears throat> and it's on this two of them now as far as the water bottle holder itself goes you have this nice pocket in the front here where you can put some food I have a couple of bars in here right now and as far as the water bottle itself <clears throat> it's nice and padded and I have a 40 ounce quick can canteen bottle in there uh, the 32 ounce Nalgene fits no problem in fact you could probably add a cup or something with it or you could put something on top of it but the 40 ounce bottle it's like it was made for that perfect and the water bottle holder is in camo and it matches exactly with the backpack looks like it was made for the backpack so I'm very pleased with that the way that came out now there was something I was concerned about because there is a pocket here on the side of the bag and I thought when I put this on I would lose access to that pocket not so so I can still use this pocket if I need to I don't have anything in there now I don't know what I would put in there but uh, here's the pocket in this high-vis orange this is like a ripstop material and uh, it's a very nice pocket it has different places to put things it has a key keeper uh, this is like for pens and pencils here uh, but I'm not using it for anything at the current time Now, if we look on the back, you have nice padded straps with these keepers. So if you do use a hydration bladder, the hydration bladder would come out these holes here and uh, down the side, whichever side you want it to come down. You do have a separate pocket here for the hydration bladder. You see it here. This could also be used for concealed carry. There's some hook and loop in here. You could put a holster. I'm not using this. I find that with the bag packed out, it's kind of hard to stuff something in there. So I'm not using it for anything right now. But you could put maybe a, a tablet or a small laptop in there too. Something stiff like that might fit better. Uh, if we look at the front again. Oh, by the way. sternum strap with an elastic in it it moves with you when you walk very comfortable and a very comfortable waistband now if you're using this for EDC maybe you don't want to use the hip belt but since I'm using it for hiking I use it I really enjoy it it's it's better than average on a lot of these smaller packs these uh, hip belts are a waste but this is a good one it's wide enough to give you some support and it also has these keepers so that when you buckle the strap it doesn't flap around see how it would flap around otherwise but the keeper allows it to stay in one in one place which is a very nice feature. I wish more bags had that. Uh, the back is very nicely padded. 
the shoulder straps are padded the same way as the back. On the uh, the top here, there's a sleeve behind this shock cord, and it's good for sticking a flashlight, a uh, small tripod maybe. I have a fixed blade in here. I have a Mora fixed blade knife in here, and it fits in there pretty well. Uh, this pocket on top, not really using it for much. I keep a towel in there and some of these wipes for your phone and your computer screens and cameras and so forth. Some duct tape around a credit card. Um, the slip pocket. This would be a good place to put your keys and your uh, and your uh, wallet, your phone. I have my phone in there right now. Um, I usually carry my phone when I hike because I use the camera. I use the camera on the phone as well as another camera. I'm usually carrying a uh, a uh, the camcorder or uh, something else, a digital camera. Um, so I usually have the camera on me. But as you can see, this is a iPhone 6s uh, Plus, good size phone in an OtterBox case, and it does fit in there, no problem. Okay, and this front pocket. Now this front pocket doesn't zip all the way down. Um, this is meant to turn sideways and access this sideways. <clears throat> but I keep in here, I have a pair of uh, mechanics wear gloves, also camo, my loophole binoculars. I like to take these when I go hiking. <clears throat> I like the fact that these binoculars have a little loop here so you could wear it on your belt so you don't have to just keep it in the pack and take it out and put it in and take it out. Right? You can wear this on your on your belt. And I also have uh, VanQuest, one of their small isopods. Uh, in case the bag filled up or I had to carry something on the outside, uh, I would just attach this. There's Molly here on the side. I would just attach it here with some Molly sticks. You'll see later on when I go into some of the modules, I do carry some molly sticks. <clears throat> this is the admin pocket on the bag. Uh, also, what I should have in there and don't, um, here's a first aid book. I used to subscribe to uh, Alpha Outpost and one of their uh, boxes, one of their monthly boxes was on uh, Medic, it was entitled. So included in that was a small instruction book for first aid. So I would just stick that in there. And that's the front pocket of the bag. I'm going to uh, show you now well, on the side of the bag here, I have a paracord bracelet. I don't carry paracord in this setup. So just in case I needed some, I could always, you know, do something with the bracelet. And there's probably somewhere around 10 to 20 feet of paracord in the bracelet. <coughs> um, now, I use modules. I have a modular approach to this. And if you look inside the bag here, you can see all the different modules that I have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the camera now. I'm going to take the modules out and we'll go through them one by one. 
So these are the various modules I have in this setup. You see four pouches, they're all VanQuest. This is a 4x6 first aid kit. This is a uh, personal pocket maximizer, husky size. This is the F-Tim in slim. And this is the EDC Husky. So, first aid, personal items, electronics and admin, tools. So we'll go through each of these separately, starting with the first aid kit.